Welcome, welcome, welcome one and all. I've teased this in the past. That's right, today's the day we get more snake-related content. Alright, here it is. This is the snake episode! First off, I was a young lad on... I, those of you who do not know, my aunt had, like lives on a farm. She lives in a farmhouse, right? Now, this, uh, this is a very big part of my childhood, this farmhouse. I spent a lot of time there. It was a lot of fun. We like fed the horses and, and hunted for eggs because her, her chickens were free range and stuff. So we, it, was, it was great. We were there one day, and I was I was a young young lad, probably like I don't know six, probably six. I'd say it was six. We were in like her little garden area. She's got like this square of gardens. And I was just like looking at all the tomatoes and beans and various legumes she was growing, and I'll, out of nowhere, right? My siblings are my siblings are around the yard. My my aunt is uh standing over off to the side near like this screened in pool, right? Out of nowhere, we hear. Like this, this high-pitched squealing that I, I'm not going to recreate here for you because, you know, that's just uncomfortable. But if you could imagine, like, a pig, but, like, he got stabbed in the throat, kind of, and it took out half of his, uh, half of his vocal cords, you know? It was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the thing. It was like if you were to take a, a really big balloon and make a really tiny hole in it, and then apply, like, a metric boatload of pressure with, like, a hydraulic press. And it was all like... <laughs> right? It was terrifying, because it was it was coming from right next to me, in this in this bush. All right? This, this bush with, like, a tree in the middle. I was like, whoo! Whoo! Right? Spooked, spooked the absolute garbage out of me. Um, I instinctively ran towards the most responsible person there being my aunt. However, in doing so, my barefooted self stepped on a thorny plant and got a bunch of like thorns all in my foot right next to this bush. So initially I had thought, oh my god, this thing just bit me. Whatever the heck is screaming at me has just bitten me and now I'm probably going to die. But we all, the siblings also run into this, we run into the screened off pool area I look, I'm like, oh, it's just thorns, right? And these bushes are right up against the screen, right? So I'm like, we are so confused as to what is making this this weird squealing noise. And we look, and we just, we see movement at first. We're like, what is that? It's slithering. It's got, like, it's got appendages coming out of, out of places it shouldn't. It doesn't look like it's got a head. What? Uh, and then upon closer examination, we see a snake... Uh, eating a significant, like a, a frog that is much bigger than itself. And so, as it turns out, it was a, uh, it was a snake eating a frog. And then, like, the, the air from the frog's gas thing was squealing oh out. Oh my god. Yeah. It, and, and as it, as it, as it was being consumed and compressed by this snake, it was making this loud squealing noise that startled us all so. So now that that story is ended, I want to give a shout out, uh, Ryan. I'm shouting you out. Kevin, also shouting you out. We have to leave these in because they said they wouldn't buy candy from me unless I shouted them out in the next video we made. So I'm just, I'm just saying your names because that's all you asked. Evan, shout out. There you go. All right. <laughs> that was everyone, right? 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 During the hurricane, what? Which hurricane was it that wasn't Irma that we had? Matthew. During Hurricane Matthew. We went um, to visit my grandparents, my great-grandparents. We spent the time with them, uh, despite how unnecessary that was. My mom was just a little bit paranoid, right? So we, we went off to go do that, and uh, on the last day we were there, there was a snake in the road, and this little girl, like, looking at the snake, right? I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm glad that she can appreciate snakes and, and, and isn't, like, terrified of them, like a lot of younger folks in... Uh, like, you know, like people were like, oh, oh, a snake. Oh, keep that snake away from me. Okay, right? <clears throat> so, 
I walk over there, and Jay, my brother, is with me as well. And we walk, we both walk over there, and we're like, ooh, a snake. Yeah, you, you want to see us catch it? And, and her grandmother walks out and says, like, oh, look at that snake. Ooh. Yeah, so we're like, all right, let's catch this snake. So I go into snake catching mode. We have this stance that we go into to catch snakes, right? Uh, and I think it, a lot of people do it. If you look on TV, if you look at professional snake catchers um, on television, generally like Discovery Channel or whatever, um, they'll kind of like, Hoo. you know, they get down kind of low and they're like, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it and they'll right, and you want to go right behind the head, right? Well, I lunge in right behind the head, but he, he dashes, and I get him not quite right behind the head. He turns around, and he bites me. He bites me right right in the space between my your pointer finger and your thumb, you know, in that, in that little skin foot. And I, it didn't hurt. I was just like, oh, he, <laughs> he bit me. What, what a weird thing. And I look down, and I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding profusely. All right, he's in, in, from, like, not... Now, I say profusely. Profusely for the size of the holes that were made, right? It was like um, these tiny holes. I would wipe away the blood. They would be tiny holes, but so much blood would come out of these holes you wouldn't think it was possible, right? And there were like six of them. It was like two rows, you know? So I was like, excuse, excuse me for a moment. And I ran inside. Well, I walked inside calmly. And then the moment I closed the door behind me, Oh, no, 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 right? I start freaking out. I go to the bathroom. I'm like, it's not it's not two fang holes, right? But I've just been bit by a snake to the point of, like, serious puncture. And I'm, like, not thinking straight. I'm like, oh, no, what if I just got venomized? I know blood racers aren't venomous. I know that. I knew that, too. But in my panic, I was freaking out. I was like, oh, no. I there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I had never been bit before. I'm just that good at catching snakes. Um, and uh, I was like, Mom, 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 mom. Uh, snake bit. I couldn't like I couldn't speak in full sentences, and she was freak. She was like, I just woke her up from a nap, and she was like now freaking out because she couldn't tell what was going on because I couldn't communicate, right? Mom, 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 snake mom. bite, bite snake, snake got me. Oh, right. In the end, everything was fine because I, I just washed it off. But I went back out there, and the snake got away, and I, I didn't impress anyone because I, I got bit by a snake. Anyway, <clears throat> they say that the devil's greatest trick, greatest feat, was to make you think he didn't exist. And to that I say, I think it's better. I think that him turning into a snake is a better feat because snakes are cool. Yep. See you later.